Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're all doing fine. So welcome to another episode. Today we're going to analyze as usual the Bitcoin price, what is happening here in the short term and also we're going to have a look into the Ethereum price as usual. Maybe we're also going to have a look uh, into some assets in the traditional markets as well at the end of this video. But we're going to of course stay focused here in the Bitcoin price action because this is right now where everyone is watching 24 7 what is the next step here in order to go back to our bullish trend towards 75 to 100 K because this is still our next potential target if here we can break out successfully above our resistances that we still have here at around 52 to 54 thousand dollars so what we have seen yesterday was a first rejection right here at this 52 thousand dollar level and you can see that also here we got a sell signal in my own indicator usually we are trying to trade here the three hour time frame because usually this is the time frame that is most optimized here for my own indicator if you're trading with it over on discord or also uh, with your trading view account and yeah you can see that we had a bearish divergence this played out we also had this sell signal and the momentum right now is clearly shifted to the downside we have now some support here because the rsi is right now right at the 50 level and although you can see this is coinciding with the ema ribbons we are right at the bottom of the ema ribbons which is also the 200 moving average here in three hour time frame so i'm expecting here a bounce to the upside because it is still a bit early to tell but we could be in this potential ascending broadening wedge here after the breakout of this falling wedge and an ascending broadening wedge is actually a bearish pattern but since bitcoin is still in a bull market and is still in an uptrend in several time frames especially the bigger ones we could expect here even a breakout to the upside from this bearish pattern so we could now bounce between these $48,500 even up towards 52 or 54,000 before then we're going to see a clear breakout here to the upside or to the downside which will end up in a big move in my opinion. So if you want to trade the safe way then wait here for the breakout and also confirmation to the downside from this ascending broadening wedge or if we're going to break out here to the upside and confirm this $54,000 as a new support that then you're going to enter into a trade if you're trading with leverage over on Bybit or Femex, Bitcoin and Ethereum. So that's why if you want to trade the safe way then wait here for a breakout because we most likely going to squeeze here between these uh, support and resistance before we're going to have a clear breakout to the upside or to the downside. But since the daily time frame in my opinion could look very bullish if today we're going to close again above the 20 daily moving average and above 50k I think that the breakout here to the upside is more likely than the breakout to the downside side and here in the lower time frames like the four hour you can see that we are testing right now the 20 moving average this moving average is a very important one and should hold as a very strong support so i'm expecting here in the next coming hours a potential buy signal again here in the four hour and of course also in the three hour time frame if you're trading with my own indicator here on a discord and therefore I'm expecting here another attempt to break 52,000 potentially even go and test 54,000 dollar and then maybe create a support above 52,000 and then we're going to see what will happen once we're going to reach here this uh, uh, all time high target here of around 58,000 dollar because once we're going to break here at this all time high of 58,000 then I'm expecting here an explosive move way above 60k potentially straight towards 75 to 100 k because we're still looking very bullish and all this correction that we have seen so far in my opinion is more looking like a bullish reset that we're cooling off all the indicators and now gear up for another big move to the upside and therefore let's go now over into the daily time frame because here you can see that again we came back 
almost to the bottom of the EMA ribbons in the daily. And you can also see that this is coinciding perfectly with the 50 daily moving average, the same moving average that previously in the last correction acted as a strong support, which was also the bottom here. And then we bounced successfully to the upside and continued our bull market. The same thing I'm expecting also now. So we could even fall towards the 50 daily moving average here at the support at around $42,000 before we definitely bottom out and then gear up for the next big move to the upside. But in my opinion, this is already looking like a potential bottom here and we could expect here continuation to the upside after this breakout and especially if we are able to start closing four hour candles above this resistance line here, so above $54,000. And um, if we have a look now into the 20 daily moving average, you can see that yesterday we had a successful close above 50K. So we are now having this first confirmation that now we are trending again to the upside. If today we can also close another daily candle above the 20 daily moving average. So currently we are below. Let's hope that until the end of the day, we're going to close this candle above the 20 daily moving average. So above 50K, that will be the second confirmation and the last confirmation that we need in order to have this clear sign that right now we are back in an uptrend and we could expect the price to go again towards 60K and way higher so what we want to see today of course is a fifty thousand dollar close so above the 20 daily moving average currently we are below but as you can see i'm already scaling in some long positions because as i told you i'm pretty confident that here we're gonna continue again to go higher and even if we drop again below here this ascending broadening wedge i'm expecting the price to then bounce here latest at 42 to 44 thousand dollar again this is exactly where right now the 50 daily moving average is lining up and of course also the bottom of the EMA ribbon so this is my worst case scenario and you can see that if you go with low leverage or with completely no leverage into a trade your liquidation price is very very far away from you so you have easy time here to scale in more into your position even if the price is dropping like 50%. And since right now the funding rates are back to normal, you are good to go to open again longs. So you can also scale in a long term trade because we have now again lower funding rates. And that, of course, is good for these uh, trades that you're keeping up for more than a couple of hours. And now if we have a look here into this green trend line here, this green trend line is also coinciding with the bottom here of the EMA ribbons and this trend line is coming from the last corrections that we had. So here you can see that we also bounced exactly at this green trend line here at $29,000 and with the last correction that we had here at around 20k also here we had a bottom of around $17,000 and this trend line is coming from these supports that we have had here in the past. So I think that is also another sign that for the worst case scenario that we're going to break out here to the downside that we most likely gonna see a big bounce here in this area between 42 to 44 thousand dollar if we're gonna see here a breakout to the downside and today we're not gonna close here the daily candle above this 20 daily moving average so we have to wait for this daily close if it's gonna be above 50k then I'm pretty confident that we have seen already the correction and the bottom here and we're gonna head again towards new higher highs here so that we're gonna see very soon new all-time highs and we should expect the price to have an explosive move here to the upside so if you're waiting on the sideline to open up a good long position, then wait at least for today's close above the 20 daily moving average. Otherwise, wait until we're going to see a bounce approximately here at around 42 to $44,000 if here we're going to break out to the downside, which in my opinion will happen as soon as we're going to close a daily candle again below the 20 daily moving average. And if we have a look into my own indicator, you can see that currently the RSI is still above the 50 level and we got here a buy signal. So in theory now we should have enough energy to have this explosive move to the upside after this bullish reset here. So let's hope that today we can close above the 20 daily moving average. This will indicate us that we're going to see here moves to the upside pretty soon. And we can also have a look here into the weekly time frame. 
because if we take out now the EMA ribbons, you can see clearly the 9 and 20 weekly moving average. The 9 weekly is right here at $42,000, also exactly perfectly lining up with our potential bounce area and strong support, which is also coinciding with the previous high that we had here after this correction. So 42,000 right here at the nine weekly moving average, in my opinion, is really the worst case scenario. If here we're going to have a daily close below the 20 daily moving average again, come back down here to retest this important price level and then move on here towards the upside. And if we're going to fail to bounce here at the nine weekly moving average at the moving average where previously we always have seen a bounce with this correction and also with this correction, then watch out here for the 20 weekly moving average right at 30,000 dollar which is still possible to be reached if here we're gonna lose this nine weekly moving average support is forty two thousand dollar area we could easily come back down here towards 30k but I don't think that we will go lower than that because Bitcoin also in previous bull markets always bounced latest at the 20 weekly moving average and currently it's right here at 30k and that also wouldn't change anything on our bullish structure that we are building up here for this bull market towards towards 100k and way higher levels. So if you see the price crashing down towards 30k, make sure that you're buying as much as possible and also scale in more longs into your positions if you have already some longs opened because latest here we're gonna see a huge bounce to the upside in my opinion if we really could lose here this $42,000 which of course is very unlikely at the moment. We are still in a bull market and we are still far away from a possible cycle top. And that's why I think this correction that we have seen so far is a healthy reset and we should expect a continuation to the upside pretty soon, even though of course for the short term it is possible that we're gonna revisit this 42 to 44,000 dollar area. But overall we're still very bullish for the Bitcoin price and of course also other coins like Ethereum for example will follow Bitcoin in my opinion pretty soon. And here now we can have a look into the Ethereum price because here we still have this resistance same like in Bitcoin in Ethereum here it's at $1,600 and here we are also still below the 200 moving average. So as soon as we're going to close four hour candles here above $1,650 so above the 200 moving average I'm expecting also here in Ethereum big moves to the upside. And here also we could get very soon a buy signal money flow is turning back into green so I'm pretty bullish here on Ethereum I'm expecting here also break up to the upside and here it's even looking like that we could form here a potential inverse head and shoulders pattern so if this is going to break out then I think also here we're gonna reach uh, and test the old all-time high here of around two thousand uh, dollar pretty soon so if Bitcoin is able to push higher then I think also Ethereum will also follow Bitcoin most likely it's gonna lag a bit behind so if you're late in trading Bitcoin then maybe switch over to Ethereum and trade Ethereum here on on Bybit or Femix if you want to take this trade. So also Ethereum is looking very bullish in my opinion. I'm expecting also here possible continuations to the upside pretty pretty soon especially if Bitcoin is able to go higher and here you can also see the resistance that we have here at around $1,600. And if we are able to push higher, it will be important that we're starting again to close daily candles above the 20 daily moving average here at $1,700. Also here we got the buy signal. We are currently still trading below the 50 level in the RSI. So that is still a bit bearish. But as soon as we're going to go here above the 50 level in the RSI, which will also mean that we then are trading again above the 20 daily moving average and pretty bullish here. Also on Ethereum that also here we're going to see new all time highs pretty soon. So overall, my friends, I think this is a healthy bullish reset. This correction that we have seen, the only reason why I am still a bit concerning is that the DXY is still trending here at this resistance here and it is fighting this 100 daily moving average. So the DXY is still looking quite bullish. If we are able to close daily candles above this resistance, which in the past always acted as a huge resistance. So if we are able now to close daily candles above the 100 daily moving average then I'm afraid that we could see here a big pump towards the 200 daily moving average and most likely getting rejected here but this move here this pump of the DXY 
could be very very dangerous for the bitcoin price also all over the crypto market and also the stock market and this is right now my only concern that here we have some few left to go higher and this move of course could lead into a massive correction and that's why i think it is even possible that bitcoin comes down to test the 20 weekly moving average at 30k if the dxy is able to move on towards the 200 daily moving average because the dxy is still in a bear market i'm expecting here a big rejection but uh, if we're going to see such an explosive move towards this 93 dollar area and retest this previous support which now could be acting as a new resistance then of course uh, we could see a massive Massive correction in the crypto market all over also in the stock market and uh, yeah that could mean that maybe Bitcoin could even reach this 30k area here the 20 weekly moving average I think it is very unlikely that it will happen but uh, if the DXY is able to do such a big push to the upside I think here the $42,000 will not hold here in the Bitcoin price because we are so close to this price level and if the DXY is gonna have an explosive move to the upside this could really lead into a massive correction but I don't think that Bitcoin will come lower than 30k so not lower than the 20 weekly moving average so I'm gonna keep a very close eye here into the DXY because uh, we are in a very dangerous zone here so let's hope that the DXY is turning back here towards $90 and lower that of course uh, will make things uh, more easier to trade Bitcoin and also uh, there will be way more hope that we're gonna go straight towards 100k if the DXY here is gonna fall the cliffs again because right now that is really the biggest warning and danger sign that we have that the DXY could have this massive pump towards the 200 daily moving average which could lead into such a correction in the Bitcoin price since we are in a very very critical point right now but let's hope that we are not able here to start to close daily candles above uh, this 100 daily moving average and another chart that I want to show you is here the Nasdaq mini futures because yesterday we had also here a big crash and a big rejection from the 20 daily moving average and right now we are getting this support also here at the 100 daily moving average same like we also had here in these last corrections we had a successful bounce then here at the 100 daily moving average so let's hope that also here in the Nasdaq we're gonna have a big bounce to the upside because I think if Nasdaq is gonna have a healthy healthy bounce here and also gonna start again to create the new all-time highs then I think that also Bitcoin and overall the crypto market will follow as well so if the stock market especially the Nasdaq is able to recover here and have a successful bounce towards the old all-time high and also break it I think this will be also very in favor for the Bitcoin price and we most likely also gonna follow these push here towards the old all-time high here of the Nasdaq same in Bitcoin and here you can also see that the money flow is still in positive and we are in very oversold condition so we could get here another buy signal pretty soon and that's why I'm also expecting here a huge bounce to the upside only if we would lose here the 100 daily moving average and crash towards the 200 daily moving average here at around $11,600 that of course could also mean that we're gonna see a big crash in the Bitcoin price and such a crash would most likely mean that we're gonna have a big push to the upside in the DXY so if the DXY is really able to push higher I think that here also Nasdaq will crash down towards the 200 daily moving average and we're gonna see a similar crash also in the Bitcoin price potentially towards this $30,000 area. So the DXY is still remaining my most biggest concern that I have for this possible recovery from this correction that we have seen right now in the Bitcoin price. It doesn't mean that Bitcoin has to crash if we're gonna see a big pump in the DXY. Most of the times Bitcoin is inverse correlated to the DXY, not always, but most of the times and of course it is always in favor when the DXY is crashing that then we're gonna have a massive pump in the Bitcoin price so that's why it is not good if the DXY is starting to pump but that doesn't mean that we have to crash and remember even though the DXY could have a possible pump and Bitcoin could even come back down again towards 40 maybe even towards 30k 
which in my opinion is still very unlikely to be reached during this bull market. But if we're gonna see that scenario, then take it as a good buy opportunity and long opportunity because Bitcoin for the long term will go to way higher levels and these prices that we are seeing right now below 100K are still very good buy opportunities and we most likely never will gonna see those prices again, maybe not even in the next bear market. So with that said guys, I'm gonna wrap it up for now. If you like the content, make sure to hit that like button. Also subscribe to the channel. I do daily TA videos. And if you want to join our free Discord trading chat over on Discord, then make sure to use the official link that you find down below here in the video description. With this link, you have free access to our crypto trading chat. You just have to go here to read first and then click here on thumbs up to confirm that you're a human and not a bot. Like this, you have free access to the crypto trading chat chat and if you want to get all the access to my own indicator live stream here on discord then you have to send me a private message because you have to give a little donation to support the stream here in order to have access to it and like this you can easily trade bitcoin especially if you're trading with leverage here on bybit and femex and if you still need a Bybit or Femex account, use my referral links down below here. With my invitation links, you will get some extra bonus and of course you support also the channel. And check out also Coinbase, Binance and Swissborg. Those are the exchanges that I'm also using. And with my referral links, you will get some extra money with your first purchase. And for all Coinbase users, we still have some free slots here to get and claim these free altcoins. For example, Band Protocol, Stellar, compound eos and so on you can get them completely for free if you are a coinbase user so thank you again very much for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye